excuse my voice it's a little raspy because of this long weekend that I had. Um, this weekend was the Envision Festival. It was their second year. And I kind of got a couple of clips. I want to welcome everybody to Envision Fest. My name is Laura Stavs from Hot 97 Ebro in the morning. I introduce my partner, Sharifa Murdoch, who is the backbone of Envision Fest. None of this would've been possible without her. I am so proud to be here with everyone tonight. We have worked so damn hard to make sure you get the best experience possible. This festival I went to last year, I was invited by um, a friend, really cool, I got a lot out of it. It is all about girl powers, girls supporting girls. It just felt great being around female entrepreneurs, making boss moves, and you feel so inspired. All the DJs were females, they had vendors, health and wellness, beauty, there was a uh, workshops going on. There was a lot going on. So, we're on the train. I thought this was a picture. <laughs> we're on the train headed to the Vision Fest. How do you feel? Excited. I'm a little excited. I'm very excited. This one I got to be the job, Me, I know get time, I did that, da. Da da, cover my face, calling me that, da. da. So we're here at Envision Festival and um, Style Inspo is here, our line of sunglasses and it's owned by women and it's for women and um, last year I was a speaker but this year I am a vendor and I'm happy to be here all over again. I'm happy to see you. Best big boss <laughs> We do be where I bad that I was it called you are gone or depend the cash back to I look I die for not was it called you are gone or depend the cash I don't know if this is good I don't think I think it's for hungry but I don't think it's like Saturday at the Vision Fest, Queen Naja performed Doja Cat, Angelica Villa, Wolf Tyler. My milkshake brings all the boys to the farm and they're like, it's better than God. Damn right, it's better than God. I can treat you, but I have to shut up.
been obsessed with Karen Civil since I started school. Like Karen Civil is the reason why I want to do what I want to do in my career. She markets so much. The biggest girl marketer that I know of. She was a part of the panel, um, the security bag panel. Besides the digital impact with Nipsey Hussle, YG, Yeezy, Nicki Minaj, Dave Ease, Andre Porto, Pusha T, Nicki Cannon, the list goes on and on. She's getting, she needs no introduction. Please give a round of applause for Karen Civil. Everybody. Hi. I met Karen Sybil. Now I finally got a chance to meet the woman that inspired me and meeting her was just like amazing. She was so nice, so polite. She took out the time to talk to everyone that wanted to meet her, which was like really cool. You never really run into people that want to do that. After we took like pictures, I had like a little conversation with her and I asked her basically after graduation, how do you get the job that you want? when you know what field you want to be in and she just gave me a little bit of advice to keep going networking and it's all about who you know so like the more you network and the more you stay in contact with the people that you meet you'll get to the places that you want to be meeting her was just like the cherry on top of everything that that, that that's going on with me because karen civil is my idol she's the person that i look up to the biggest thing that i got out of envision fest was to keep going keep doing what you're doing to get where you want to be after college trying to find jobs applying to jobs and not hearing anything back it really it really makes you feel some type of way when you're applying to all these jobs and you're not hearing anything back but going to the envision fest this weekend definitely motivated me to go harder start wherever i want to start make sure i stay focused and make sure i have finish and, well, I don't, I mean, like no one really understands my love that i have for karen civil and i'm just so happy that i actually got the chance to meet her it's nice when you go out and you know you didn't waste your time you know like i went out and i know that i didn't waste my time everything that i heard everything that i asked all the advice that i've gotten it didn't go in one ear and out the other and i don't feel like i wasted my time it was like worth the time to go speak network with people cool to be around females that are like you and that are trying to do the same thing that you're doing because it just makes you know that like you're not alone in this journey and someone else is struggling just like how you're struggling it makes you come together i tried blogging everything but at the same time i'm really trying to try this youtube thing out but it's so hard to be out and having to remember to pick up a camera like i'd be enjoying myself I, I, I don't be thinking like oh my god let me pick up the camera and record this is so hard but i should do that because these are also memories that i want to look back on and be like oh wow that happened so i really need to start picking up a camera